Welcome back to Politics Nation. Let's bring in tonight's political panel, former Republican Congressman Dave Jolly of Florida and Michael Hardaway, former staffer to House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries and Senator Dick Durbin. David, let, let's start with you. President Biden is being criticized by some on the right for recognizing today as both Easter Sunday and Transgender Day of Visibility. The Trump campaign called on the White House to issue an apology. The Trump camp also criticized the Biden White House for not allowing overtly re a religious egg designs for the Easter art event, which Politico points out it has been that way under every president since 1976, including under Donald Trump. House Republican uh, Speaker Mike Johnson joined in on social media, calling Biden's decision, quote, outrageous and abhorrent. Why are Republicans choosing this battle as a way to take on the president? Yeah, I, I'm not quite sure, Rev, to be honest. I mean, there's a little bit of dirty political pool here, but uh, I think we got to hit it head on and suggest to President Trump and Mike Johnson and Senator Blackburn and others who are relying on the words of their Christ and their Jesus they celebrate today to condemn Joe Biden, uh, to suggest to them that actually the Jesus they celebrate today would be inclusive of the transgender community and would be supportive of the transgender community and demand all Christians, including Donald Trump, Mike Johnson, and others who celebrate today, that in fact they should love the transgender community as they love their own God. I am not sure the theology upon which they rely to criticize Joe Biden. I would say politically it's stupid because among the five to 10 percent of actual persuadable voters, part of their concern about today's Republican Party is exactly this behavior. Why would you use time politically if you are Republicans to celebrate that you want to condemn and exclude fellow Americans, that you do not want to provide equity and equality to all people? Because that is essentially the message that was received by millions of Americans today. And I think it's wrong theologically, it's wrong morally, and it's absolutely stupid politically. Michael, this day of awareness for trans Americans has been recognized since 2010. And the last time it overlapped with Easter was in 2013. So this is not new. Uh, the White House Deputy Press Secretary, Andrew Bates, responded to Republicans saying, quote, it's unsurprising politicians are seeking to divide and weaken our country with cruel, hateful, and dishonest rhetoric. President Biden will never abuse his faith for political purposes or for profit, unquote. Now, that's in referring to Trump selling his $60 Bibles. What's the best strategy in your judgment for the Biden camp to counter these exaggerated culture war scandals, which seem to crop up on almost a daily basis? Well, you can't fall for the red herring, which is clearly what this is. House Republicans and Speaker Johnson have no record to run on. They've uh, presided over a disaster over the past year or so. You have constant threat of government shutdown. And on the other side, Donald Trump is facing 90 plus indictments across multiple states. He's got a litany of crimes he's addressing. And so this is simply designed to change that conversation. If you're President Biden and you're the White House, you cannot fall for this sham. When ev whenever you ask about this particular story, you have to head back specifically outlining what's at stake what Donald Trump has done, what House Republicans have done, have not done, and you have to over and over and over again tell that story. You cannot be wasting time responding to these ridiculous questions and ridiculous stories over and over again. Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.